Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today this is uh, we're reading SCP-313. This is my fourth time recording this video, trying to get the audio to not be broken. With incredibly low amounts of success. Anyway, let's get right into this. What's up with my bottle? Okay, then. That's just going to be a problem. I have a number SCP 313, object class safe. Special containment procedures SCP-313 is to be kept unmounted and disconnected when not being tested. Access is strictly prohibited, except with special permission from a class from a level 4 official. Under no circumstances are personnel to press the button, save for officially sanctioned testing under rigidly controlled conditions. See Addendum 313-A. Description. SCP-313 is identical in appearance and marking to a World Dryer Corp Model A electric hand dryer. The object measures 25 by 24 by 21 centimeters. Its casing is painted white steel with a polished stainless steel nozzle and button. Internal workings are consistent with Model A specifications. However, despite this veneer of normalcy, SCP-313 has two significantly anomalous qualities. First and foremost, it is utterly indestructible, and impervious to all forces available to us. And secondly, it is extraordinarily destructive, apparently by design. Destruction test logs are available on request to us with level 2 or higher security clearance. The second anomalous property should be considered armed when SCP-313 is mounted on a wall and connected to a dedicated 20A power source. Under these conditions, each push of the button represents a 1.5% chance that, the pro that this property will activate. When this occurs, SCP-313 will begin to emit a stream of superheated plasma, which originates somewhere within the object and exits from the nozzle in a direction perpendicular to the surface on which the object is mounted. The stream's force and temperature increase exponentially until the object tears, tears loose from its mounting and or propels itself through the mounted surface. Temperatures of over 25,000 Kelvin and forces is as great as 650 kN have been recorded. Although the rest of this magnitude would never occur under normal circumstances. The flow of plasma will continue for up to 30 seconds after the object has torn free, i.e. the normal direction of airflow for standard Model A. Generally enough to propel the object an enormous distance if there is nothing in the way, or causes a ricochet at high speeds inside any structure in which the object is confined, potentially demolishing the structure. This destruction is compounded by the effects of extremely high temperatures. Both the civilian casualties and property damage attributed to SCP-313 are staggering. It has caused a number of fires and other disasters over the years generally in a predictable pattern of being sold and installed, blasting halfway across the country and being found and resold. The object passed into the Foundation's hand when it impacted near Site 05, having been mistaken for a meteorite. Some of the lower level personnel have been impressed me about our safety procedures when using SCP-313. For those of you who have forgotten high school physics, 25,000 Kelvin is four times hotter than the surface of the sun, and 650 kilonewtons is roughly enough force to lift an M1 Abrams main battle tank. Inc. Now imagine that much force behind the object, which lays less than 10 kilograms. Remember, force equals mass times acceleration, and is indestructible. Dr. Sundrum, Supervisor 3, 401, Site 19. Here's the hoping. That was SCP-313. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, 
Goodbye.